Good morning students I hope each one of you is keeping well by looking at this image you all can easily guess today's topic yes today we will study about minerals in our daily life we are using various items like pencil a car a cell phone etc is made by using many minerals found in different parts of the world even when we step out of our house which is made up of minerals the road we travel on the car we drive and the food we eat use minerals in some form so what are minerals a mineral is a naturally occurring organic or inorganic substance having in atomic structure or a definite chemical composition and physical properties for example iron ore bauxite gold etc ore an ore is a type of rock that contains sufficient minerals with important elements including metals that can be economically extracted from the rock after extraction they refine with smelting to extract the valuable element or elements characteristics of minerals natural occurring the substance must be naturally occurring on earth not man made for example plastic is not considered mineral because it is man made substance inorganic the substance must be inorganic not coming from living or made from living things for example trees or plants cannot be consider minerals solid substance exist in a solid state under normal condition on earth definite chemical composition the substance must have a definite chemical composition for example pyrite composed of iron and silica ordered internal structure the atoms that make up the substance must be arranged in an orderly structure let us understand the meaning and characteristics of minerals with the help of this video have a look around your room and name all the objects that you see in the room the bed table clock pencil leads football study lamp tennis racket are these objects made up of materials from plants or animals no they are not made up of wood or any material from animals like leather so there is something else in our environment which is extensively used to make different objects that we use these substances are called minerals and are found in the earth's surface some of the characteristics of minerals are minerals are naturally occurring they are not made by humans minerals are inorganic they have never been alive and are not made up of plants or animals minerals are solids they are not like liquids like water or gases like the air around you minerals have a definite chemical composition each one is made of a particular mix of chemical elements minerals have an ordered structure the chemical elements that make up each mineral are arranged in a particular way this is why minerals grow as crystals have a look at this cookie by just looking at the cookie is it possible to name the ingredients that are used to make the cookie it is made up of flour sugar and milk but it is not possible to state these ingredients by just looking at the cookie similarly the minerals are mixed in rocks on the earth and cannot be seen separately minerals are not evenly distributed and are concentrated in particular areas of the world there are 3000 different minerals identified so far on earth 
The minerals are identified and classified based on the physical properties such as density, color, hardness, etc. Types of minerals. There are two types of minerals. Metallic minerals, non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals. Metallic minerals are minerals in which metal elements are present in their raw form. These minerals are hard, shiny, malleable with good electrical and thermal conductivity. Characteristics of metallic minerals. These minerals present a metallic shine in appearance. They contain metals in their chemical composition. They contain metals in their raw form. For example, iron ore, uranium, gold, bauxite, etc. Metallic minerals further classified into two parts, ferrous minerals, non-ferrous minerals. Ferrous minerals. These minerals contain iron. For example, iron, manganese, nickel, cobalt, etc. Non-ferrous minerals. These minerals do not contain iron. For example, gold, silver, bauxite, uranium, copper, or lead, etc. Distribution of metallic minerals. China Australia and Brazil are the important producer of iron ore in the world. 95% of the total reserve of iron ore reserve in India is located in the states of Odisha, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Iron ore is used mainly in the iron and steel industries. Uranium. Largest deposits of uranium found in Australia, Kazakhstan and Canada. Andhra Pradesh has small amount of uranium in our country. Uses of uranium. Uranium is used in nuclear weapons, nuclear fuel, nuclear plants and nuclear submarines. Bauxite. Australia is the top most producer of bauxite followed by China and Brazil. Odisha is the largest producer of bauxite followed by Jharkhand and Gujarat. Bauxite is an ore of aluminium and aluminium is used in a number of industries like aircraft, electricity and making of utensils. Manganese South Africa is the world largest producer of manganese. Odisha, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka are the major producer of India. It is used for the manufacturing of steel, bleaching powder, paints and insecticides. Gold South Africa is dominant gold producer followed by China and Australia. In India, Karnataka is the largest producer of gold. It is mainly used in the manufacturing of jewelry. Silver. Mexico is the largest producer of silver followed by China and Peru. Karnataka is the largest producer of India followed by Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan. It is used in making solar panels, jewelry, utensils, coins, etc. Copper Chile is the largest producer of copper followed by China and Peru. Madhya Pradesh, 
झारखंड एंड राजस्थान आर इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉपर प्रोड्यूसिंग सेंटर्स ऑफ इंडिया इट इज मेनली यूज इन इलेक्ट्रिकल केबल्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यूटेंसिल्स कॉइन्स एक्सेट्रा सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी हैव लर्न अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ मिनरल्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मिनरल्स टाइप्स ऑफ मिनरल्स मीनिंग एंड टाइप्स ऑफ मेटेलिक मिनरल्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मेटेलिक मिनरल्स थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे